Hey YouTube, it's Haig here. This video I'm going to show you how to reinstall Windows XP on a very old desktop computer. This one's like 15 years old. It has 250 megabytes of RAM. It's got Windows XP. It's so old and I'm going to show you how you would go about reinstalling the uh, Windows XP, alright? It's going to require two computers, alright? It's also going to require a blank DVD, alright? Blank DVDs are like this. They can be picked up at any place. They're pretty cheap. Because I don't think a Windows XP will run on a USB stick on that a computer that old. So we're gonna you're gonna need a blank DVD. You're gonna set, need a second computer. I got a my gaming computer in the back there. You're gonna actually start off by taking a blank DVD, and you're gonna start off by actually uh, plugging that blank DVD into the DVD drive of the computer. I'm just gonna go about doing that right now. All right. So you have that blank DVD in another computer. And once you do that, you're, we'll be on to my computer screen and we'll show you how to create yourself a Windows XP installation. And then after, I'm going to show you how to actually use that XP installation on this older computer and install, reinstall Windows XP. You're now over at my other computer. And now this computer has Windows 10 on it. So as you know, you will need a second computer to do this. All right. So once you're on another computer, the computer that you plug the DVD into, we're going to go ahead and we're going to download a copy of Windows uh, XP alright so I'm just gonna go ahead and pull up the website where you get that alright so you pull up your browser you're gonna write in uh, Windows XP free ISO download you're gonna come to this website here PC River Windows XP ISO downloader the link for this is in the description box if you can't find the website okay so here you're gonna come down and you're going to choose either 32-bit or 64-bit. If you have a very, very old computer, I'm sure you're going to want to choose the 32-bit operating system. So download that. And that's going to download an ISO file of Windows XP. It's going to take a bit of time depending on your download speed. So just want to head, make sure you've actually downloaded that ISO image. Okay. And now on pause the video when I've actually downloaded the ISO image. Alright, that's the ISO image downloaded, alright? So we're just going to click on that and show in folder. We're just going to I'm just going to drag this to the desktop. So just make sure you know where you saved that ISO file. I just put that on my desktop. Here it is. The ISO file right here on my desktop, okay? Now that I got the ISO file completely um installed to this, um what we're going to do is we're going to write the ISO file as you know to a blank DVD. So we've already inserted the blank DVD into the actual computer. All right, so we're going to download a program called ImageBurn. The link for this is also in the description box. You're going to install ImageBurn on the computer. And when you have ImageBurn installed, it opens up and it looks like this. It's pretty simple to use. When you have ImageBurn installed, we're going to write an image file to the disk, okay? All right, image file to disk. We're going to make sure we're selected the DVD drive on the computer. And we're up here where this folder is, we're going to click on that. We're going to go to uh, wherever the ISO file that we downloaded, in my case it's on the desktop, and click on that. And then it's going to be selected. You're going to make sure you have the DVD drive selected. And right here, it's going to say, you're going to click here, and this is going to write ISO file to disk. Now, I don't have the option to write this to the disk because I've already made the disk up already with Windows XP on it. So for you, it won't be grayed out. You're just going to click this error right here. I mean, you're just going to double click right here on this image and it's going to go ahead. It's going to write the ISO file onto the blank DVD. And when that completes, you're ready to now use it on the other computer. All right. So now we're going to go back to the other computer and we're going to actually boot the DVD that we made off of that computer. All right. So for you, you guys won't have this option grayed out. You guys just have to click this and that will begin writing the ISO to the DVD. All right. So now I'll sh sh see you over at the, uh, 14 year old XP computer that I have, alright? Alright, I know it's a bit dark in here, but we're now over at our, at our XP computer right here. So now what we're going to do is take the DVD that we made out of that computer that we just created and put it into this computer that has XP on it, alright? Simple to do, you just on, on a, a once, now that you've created the DVD, you just want to take out the DVD, alright? We're going to now move the DVD over to this computer. Now, so make sure you actually plug everything in on the computer. And um, we're going to go ahead and power the XP machine on. Now, we're going to actually 
open up the DVD dro ROM drive here. So that is powered on. Whoops, I didn't do that right. Just give it a second. It's such an old computer, it takes a bit of time. So now that we've done that, we're just going to actually put that in. Alright, we got the DVD in. Alright, I'm going to recommend you turn, you power, hold the power button down on the computer, the desktop, or the XP computer that you have. Just power it on so it's completely shut off. And now the most difficult part for some users is actually getting the BIOS to boot the DVD up, okay? So for some users, you're going to have to have a specific key that you press as soon as the power of the computer is on. For some, it's going to be F12. For some, it's going to be the escape key. Every computer is going to be different, so you may need to do a Google search to figure out how you boot a DVD off on your XP, old XP computer. And um, sometimes, and you will see when here that mine tells me it's escape. Some computers, it's going to be F12. Other computers, it's F2. So it just depends on your computer. All right, so just to get that out of the way, it's pretty simple to do. So we've got the DVD in, inside the computer. We have the computer powered off. Now we power the computer on. We're going to quickly go back. We're going to quickly look at the screen, and we're going to mash the whatever key it is to boot, access the boot menu. So you can see it says right down here, boot menu. For me, is escape. So I had to hit mash that escape key pretty fast. For others, it's going to be a different key, so just do your Google search for whatever key it is. And you're going to access your boot menu. You're going to find the actual DVD-ROM drive on the XP computer that you have. And if you don't have a DVD-ROM drive and you only have a CD drive, you're not going to be able to run the ISO file. So you won't be able to do this. So you want to make sure that the old computer that you have is at least got a DVD drive on it. Alright, so that's that. Now we're going to actually see that it's going to say push any key to boot from a CD. And it's going to expect your hardware configuration here. So we're just going to wait for that to actually load. So now it's going to say Windows Setup. It's going to say press F6 to run the automatic system recovery. We don't have to do anything but let, this, but let these files load. And this is an old computer, so it's probably going to take me 10 minutes for this all to load. And now I'm going to pause this, and I'll show you the next step in it to install Windows XP. Alright, so eventually you're going to come to this screen and it's going to talk about make about the partitions that are on the computer. Alright, you're going to see on the setup screen, it says to set up Windows XP on the selected item, press enter. To create a partition, press C. To delete the selected partition, press D. Alright, so the current installation of XP is already made up on that partition. We want to remove each partition here so we can have a fresh, clean hard drive. To install XP on. So at this point when we do this, everything on the hard drive is gone. So your files are completely gone. So make sure you don't have anything real important on here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna have the uh, use the arrow keys. We're gonna select the part all the, any partition that we see here, and it's gonna be highlighted, and we'll press the D key on the keyboard to delete that partition. It's gonna come up and it's gonna say to delete this partition, press enter. And the setup will prompt you for confirmation before deleting the partition. So we're just going to go ahead and press the enter on the keyboard. It's going to now prompt me and say to delete this partition, press L. All data of the partition will be lost. Or to return to the previous screen, press escape. You're just going to want to press L. So we'll hit the L key. And now it has on allocated space. That's what you want. We have the partitions of are already and we're going to actually cl click on the enter key now that it's highlighted it's now going to we'll ask us to format the partition now that we deleted it so what we're going to do is we're going to go to the upper one where it says format the partition using the NTFC file system quick if you do the bottom one it's going to take a long time to do so just do this the top one or make sure you're doing the quick format all right that's going to go ahead and wipe the drive out so your files are gone at this time Alright, so this is why we're formatting the hard drive to put the new version of Windows XP in. Alright, so that's going to take a moment to format, okay? Format's complete. And now what we're going to do is we're just going to basically just let Windows install. It's going to reboot your computer a lot of times. It's going to say set up as copy and files. You're going to come to more additional screens. You're going to have to click in next a few times. You're just going to have to let the operating system install at this point. There's not much more to it. There's just a few more clicks where you click next and stuff. 
but that's pretty straightforward. You just follow the on screen positive instructions and this will install your operating system back onto the computer. All right, it will probably take this computer, given that it's 15 years old, almost two hours to install, maybe an hour, I don't know. So I'm not gonna make a two hour video of that. So I'm gonna end the video right now and you can, guys just have to let the windows install, all right? And if you enjoyed my videos and this helped you up, uh, reinstall your uh, XP on your uh, old, old, old desktop or whatever, please remember to comment, write, write and subscribe on my YouTube channel. And uh, thanks for watching.